Number six, undermining flow. The Scrum Master allows stakeholders to disrupt the flow of the development team during the sprint. For example, the Scrum Master has a kind of laissez-faire policy as far as access to the development team is concerned. So you can hit them up anytime you like. Or the Scrum Master does not object that the management invites engineers to random meetings of subject matter experts, you know, always disrupting everything. Or the Scrum Master allows that other stakeholders or managers turn the daily Scrum into a reporting session. Preserving the flow of work through the team during the sprint is the linchpin of productivity. You know, that's why work in progress limits are so useful, you know, avoiding creating official cues. And there's another issue why you need to be cautious about this. If the Scrum team fails, no stakeholder will read this kind of what happened during the sprint fine print afterwards. All they see is the Scrum team did not deliver. And this will inevitably undermine the trust in the team 